Hotepu, androgynous heterosexual gatekeepers of Eastern, of modern Eastern Kemet. And today I come to you with an additional video explaining to you the ages and the timelines of how many years it will be when you become a Egyptian prince, a Kemetic prince, king and queen. Okay, and this is from the Eastern heterosexual perspective. I don't know about the Western heterosexual perspective because that's even though I was born of that culture, it doesn't mean I live in there. Yes? Okay. So, with that being said, before we get into the timeline of how long it takes for you to become a comedic prince, king, and priest, I have to tell you in short summary what you have to do in order to become these three rankings, okay? Or better yet, I should say initiations. So the first thing you have to do is you have to sacrifice a piece of your your body soul and spirit okay blood is everything dna means everything now i'm not going to reveal the entire ritual uh if if you're if you're really interested in joining our temple um e email me privately at brother devin occult lectures at gmail dot com again that's brother b r o t h a devin d e v o n occult lectures o c c u l t L E C T U R E S at Gmail dot com. Okay? Brother Devin Occult Lectures at Gmail dot com. Okay. So how many years does it take for one to become a comedic prince? Now this is from the traditional sense. I'm, 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 I won't. Okay. My, my ancestors are saying, I can't tell you personally, um, my initiation until after I go home to my significant other and the process is already done. Okay, so with that being said, how many years in our tradition does it take for one to become a comedic prince? So after you learn all the knowledge of Kemet and not and not just Kemet, comedians learn things. From all over. Um, and not, not only did they study their own spirituality. But they. They learned. Not necessarily studied. Because in, in, when you study something. That, that means you're actually. Internalizing to the point of becoming. So what they did was. They not only studied their own culture. But they learned other people's cultures 
as well. They co- comedians traveled, okay. So a Egyptian prince's role in life is to be- basically listen to many different perspectives and his role is to learn many different perspectives from all parts of the world and it's also his job to find solutions to their problems so that they'll they'll be able to Perceive from, they'll be able to perceive their own life and reality from a higher perspective. Okay? So, so the ancient comedic prince is an overseer. It is a hindsighter. An intuitive per- person. So, with that being said, the prince, when, when it, when a when a young boy goes into initiation, he he is initiated at the age of. 13, okay, now this is from an Eastern comedic heterosexual perspective, okay, please remember that, so from ages 13 to to 27, he is a, he is a, he is Initiated and appointed as a comedic prince. Okay? He has to do this for a total of 40 years. 13 plus 27 equals 40. Okay? Now, let's go into the next slide. And then, so... By the age of 27, he has now started his initiation as king. So, from ages 27 to the year of the age 42... is his end, okay? He is... He... Excuse me. He's only a king for one decade. Okay? Because when he's in his late 20s, early 30s, that's when he's in his youth. Okay, and when he goes into his 40s, that would be, that would be, um, the, the, when, when he goes into his 40s, year 42, that would be the end of his reign. Now, if the king um happens to physically transition during his reign um someone has to take his place and finish and basically finish where he left off basically so that 
is the lesson on that. Let's go to the next slide. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Twenty seven plus forty two equals sixty nine. So this means he would have to rule as king for a total of sixty nine years. Okay. Now let's continue on. And then, so finally, last but not least, after the years of becoming king by nurturing and enlightening and protecting his people from age from ages 42, he becomes a comedic priest. And the Kama'u priest is to not only protect, enlighten, enlighten, and nourish his own people but his his life duty and his job is to also heal his people so the comedic priest from our Egyptian culture he he's not just a protector and no and he's not just a protect protector and and enlightener and nurturer of his people but he but he but um but he also defends and heals his people too so the power of song and dance and magic so in our temple at the golden cat of Mao religion we are basically your shamans, magicians, healers, and musicians. And we also provide more than what I'm telling you. <clears throat> Further, furthermore, by this time... If, if you add 42 plus 72, that's 114 years that you would have to reign as priest. Yep. 114 years. So, you, you would get, you would get not only respect from Upper and Lower Egypt. But totally all of Egypt. Because you would be considered a priest. Okay. And um, since I didn't cover the bases of Upper Egypt. Let me do that now. Upper Egypt symbolizes the supernatural realm. The supernatural world, it, it represents uh, purity, righteousness, 
psychic intuition. Okay? So, whatever you do on Lower Egypt, you you tend to both their material and spiritual matters from a lower level. Which is the southern part of Kemet. The northern part of Kemet, you you only tend to people's spiritual needs. Okay? But when but when you attach two of these crowns together and you and you become priest by the age of 42 <coughs> you have to you have to be willing to accept and help all people of all ages with their material and spiritual needs. Because, folks, what we got to keep in mind is that we are the gods that we are the Neter. We are the Neter. The, the Neter. Na Neter root that the people are seeking for. Yes? Okay? So, let's start acting like it. Alright? And. This is this is oh 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 I'm a king and I'm a, I'm only gonna do this for a little while no no traditionally no you can't do that not not traditionally but for me it's gonna be a little different and as as I'm as I was told by the ancestors. I I can't tell you how long I'm going to be prince for until after I've done my initiation. Right now, I'm I'm just a disciple. So when our comedic answers excuse <laughs> excuse me, when our comedic ancestors teach me, they give me the free will and permission to teach you. What what they have taught me, um, because being a disciple isn't just about um using the discerning using discernment as you teach. It's also about showing people what you know, and the and the root word of disciple is what. Discipline. Okay. That's what our Kamau ancestors were. They were a people and beings of discipline. Kau? Yes? Okay then. So, with that being said... I'm I'm going to show you a timeline, just as a remi- just as a reminder of how many years you would have to be a prince, king, and priest for when it comes down to modern day Egypt. All right. So, in the words of Slick Rick, here we go. <laughs> Before we continue on with the next slide, I just wanted to remind you that the red that the red crown represents the 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 lower and southern half of Kemet, Egypt. Okay, 
It it all it also represents the material and spiritual realm according to one's physical needs. Okay? Their 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 physical their physical and material needs. Material as in uh po- political, social, economic and financial needs, okay? And right over here the the white crown of Egypt symbolizes the the upper part of e- Egypt rep- representing the 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 northern part of Kemet Kamat Kamau okay and it it also represents your intuition and the reality or the the intangible materials of the spirit realm, the spirit and celestial world, okay. And when and when and when these two and when these two headpieces are put together. Excuse me. When these two pieces are put together, they are they are a symbol and unification. They are a symbol, one. They are a symbol, oneness and and unification of lower and upper Egypt. Seen, represented. And unified as one. Okay. So when you become priest. You. You give yourself. An opportunity to to help both. Beings of. Lower Kemet. Which is southern Kemet. Upper Egypt which is northern. Okay. And and we also help East and West too. I just have to put that together for another video. Alright. So now we can continue on with the next slide. Alright. So here it is folks. This here is a timeline that was written for me to show you all from the Eastern heterosexual perspective of how many years that it will take for you to go from prince to king and then from king to priest. So from ages 13... So from the age of thirteen, you be you become initiated as prince, and your 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 years of becoming prince ends at the age of twenty seven, okay, and then as a king, your your rulership as a nasu or in Greek understanding, a pharaoh in Greek understanding as a pharaoh, you start off as a king from age from age twenty seven and then and then your 
declined from the decline from the throne as king ends at the age of 42 and then when you turn 42 years old and this is from the male perspective we will we I will I will do a princess and queen lecture and narrative on this as well so I'm glad we're doing this Okay, so when you become a priest, you be, you become a priest at the age of 42. And then your <coughs> retirement from priesthood traditionally ends at the age of 72. Because by then, you you would have mastered all forms of comedic com com wisdom and understanding. Okay? And when you retire, you, ha you have to pa pass it on to your children. The, the same thing the same thing you would do as both a a king and a prince. Okay? So let's talk about the totality of these timelines. So So thirteen plus twenty seven equals is 40 and then 27 plus 42 is 69 so you you would you would spend a total of 69 years as king And as a prince, you would automatically spend 40 years as a prince because by that time, you would be a young boy. All right? As I, as I stated, I'll, I'll do one for princesses and queens real soon, okay? All right. So, from... from, from the priesthood from from ages forty two to ages seventy two. That, ladies and gentlemen, my 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 students, and also allies. That is a total of a hundred and fourteen years that you would reign in our kingdom. What do you think about that, eh? Pretty nice, yes? <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed this additional le lesson and lecture from this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, you must understand that as a comedic people, uh, this lifestyle, according to the, the, the East of modern day Kemet is a, is a very serious thing. And, the reason why I wanted to step foot as modern modern day Kemet's first first metrosexual kings or straight androgynous kings is because I've seen and heard 
a lot of things from the Western heterosexual culture that I won't say needs change. Although although change is a good word to to their psychology, it could sound like force, a, as in I'm forcing you to be something that you may not want to ac- tolerate nor accept. But in 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 order for you to have a healthy life, you have to change the way you think, the way you feel, and how you and not only what you do, but how you do things. You you know you know how they you know how they say you know how Christians say charity starts at home? Well as a as a as a man who who's de- devoting two decades of his life to commit I say healing starts at home. You know, once 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 you heal your mind mind and body, then you as the individual are healed. And once you heal your home, then and only then can you heal your community. So I hope you learn from this to to all the to all the men that join our temple here at the androgynous heterosexual slash metrosexual temple of the golden mouth we 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 ask that you t- take this serious and not Manipulate it to be a plaything, because then you defile not only yourself but the teachings of Kemet. Let's not do that, okay? You got to take this very seriously. And yes, that this includes the rituals, the ritualistic mag- magical shamanic songs everything all that in in hood tongue <laughs> all right so with, so with that being said I I, I I hope you learn from this um, and I and I hope you receive unk ujab Seneb. That's translation for life, health, and prosperity. May may you receive these things all all in the name of the the cat god Mao, also Lord Ra. And also uh, to to Lord I said Lord to to Lord excuse me may you accept all of this in the name of Lord Asar Lord As I said and Lord Haru Neb Haru Okay Do what you want, Hotepu.